I'm perfectly capable of doing my job. Staff Sergeant Katherine Schmidt has served in the Army for 14 years. Four years ago, the Gresham native transitioned to a transgender woman. She says her ability to serve never changed. My superiors know it, my peers know it, my subordinates know it. And yet, here she is outside the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. A judge heard testimony from her side and an attorney representing the Trump administration. At issue, whether the government can implement President Trump's ban on transgender people serving in the military, even while the case plays out in the courts. This is a fight that the government has waged in courts across the country, and they've lost every time. Court after court has recognized that this policy targets transgender people for unconstitutional discrimination. Peter Wren is an attorney with Lambda Legal, the team that filed a lawsuit last year claiming the president's ban was unconstitutional. A district court judge in Washington ruled in their favor. Now the government is seeking a preliminary injunction deeming the ban constitutional. An attorney for the Trump administration argues the current policy allowing transgender people to serve imposes a risk to military readiness. Advocates hear that as something else. Make no mistake that this ban is one part of a broader attempt by this administration to legislate, legalize, and in some cases mandate discrimination against LGBTQ people throughout daily life. No matter how the appeals court rules, advocates say this is a long-term battle and one Staff Sergeant Schmidt is ready for. The moment that I take off that uniform for the last time, I intend for it to be after retirement. This appeals court decision should come down sometime in the next couple of months. As for the trial itself, that's set to start next April in Washington.